So part of my story is that I worked for NASA. I worked at the, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which is a lab that's associated with Caltech down in California. And it was one of my dream jobs. I got to work on the Mars rover programs. I got to do this work with incredibly competent engineers and scientists doing cutting edge science. But the work that I was doing there had very little near term relevance for this planet. And something about uh, having children changed the way I thought about what I was doing. I, you, know, you look at these babies of very young kids and you realize the world is theirs. And if I'm not doing something that's going to help them in their, as, as they take over ownership of this place, if I'm going to put a lot of my time and effort into something, I want it to help them. We all are aware there's a big energy question or problem in the world, right? We want to figure out how to reduce the amount of fossil fuels consumed on the planet. Like that is the biggest picture. But there's something that's interesting about the way we use energy. It's not constant. It goes up and down. And there's also something interesting about the way energy is generated, especially if it's from a renewable source. It goes up and down. Why not store it? Why not store that energy and use it later? The drive really is to figure out a super duper, like an enormously scalable way of storing energy. No one had really done a sodium ion intercalation or insertion material, which is the, that's the way things work in lithium ion batteries. It's called insertion or intercalation. No one had really proven that in water for sodium. And so that was like the first finding was that if you have the right materials, it actually will do this. It can function like a lithium ion battery, but with sodium. Um, and in theory, it's very inexpensive to make this. So that was the, the concept. Salt water battery using dirt for electrodes. That sort of was the very highest level uh, concept. And the other thing is that I wanted to do it using the most inexpensive, most available materials possible. And that's where the thought of, well, why not use sodium ions instead of lithium ions? The idea was to forget about getting a lot into a small package, but instead use really cheap materials and get enough into a reasonable size package that you could use anywhere in the world. If you have a solar panel or a wind farm, or you want to optimize something else that, that is energy consuming, where the load is different than the supply. We ship out of the factory in Westmoreland County. Uh, you know, in collaboration with the state of Pennsylvania and a lot of local help, we stayed here and we decided that um, you know, we took up residence in an old Sony plant, which is an old car plant before that. It's this giant 2.3 million square foot building, and we're shipping all over the world. We have well over 100 functional installations now. We're collecting data from these installations, and it's fascinating to watch how it's being used in different locations. We have things, very small things in, in Africa, for example, and we have multiple megawatt hours in places like Hawaii. And it's really fun to watch, to go and visit and stand among the diesel generator that's no longer hooked up and realizing this is because of the battery. You know, it's, it's an amazing thing to watch. So winning the Lemelson MIT Prize is, is a huge honor. And, and this might surprise you, but the most satisfying part of this has nothing to do with the technology uh, for me. It's the most satisfying moments that I've had are uh, when the team, the people that I've worked with are able to synthesize and come up independently with similar concepts uh, is so exciting to me because you realize that it's not, it's no longer just a singular effort. There is a world five years from now where energy storage is a common concept. Going somewhere and seeing a really large battery installation somewhere that's leveling out a large scale solar panel or is working with a residence or a community, seeing that and it not being unusual, that's when you'll know that the impact is real.